Welcome, I'm glad you joined this video because in this video, we're going to be building the new system for, in this case, Opera reached out to us asking if we can help her build this social proof collection system so her team and she are not forgetting to capture those testimonials from her clients and post them on their website so she can again deliver more value and, and provide more value with her nonprofit mission that she has in place. So let's jump straight into this. Before we dive into building anything or or again, architecting any type of solution, we need to first understand what Opera is asking us and what she wants and her team want to achieve. So in this case, let's dive in her message that she sent to us and see what is her request look like. In this case, she said, hi, Ilya, we keep forgetting to ask clients for testimonials after projects wrap up. So everyone is busy jumping to the next job, falls through the cracks, and we end up scrambling months later for reviews. Could you and your friend build a simple system for us where whenever a task or project is marked completed in ClickUp, an email automatically goes to the client with a JotForm link to leave feedback. Ideally, the responses would also be saved to our ClickUp workspace so the team can use them right away to publish on our website. So the first thing is this issue I've experienced myself. So in many teams out there are probably experiencing the same issue. So Opera's comment and message is really on spot. And the second thing, she also mentioned something very important. We do not only want to capture testimonials from the clients, we also want the team members to act on those testimonials and actually post them, whether it's on social media, Media or on their website, but there has to be some place somewhere where those testimonials are stored and managed as tasks. So we do not forget again to post them and show these testimonials to the world. Otherwise, there is no use in them. And the last message she says is this would save us from manual follow ups and make collecting testimonials a standard part of our delivery process instead of something we always forget. Thanks, Opera. Before we build anything, let's first visualize all the system components and understand all the functionalities of the system that we're required to build to give the ability for Opera and her team to capture, manage, and post those testimonials that she's receiving from her clients. So if we look at Opera's message, she mentioned a couple of things that we should take into account when building the system. The first is she mentioned mentioned the platform that they are using for managing their projects and managing their project data. She said ClickUp. So a project is more completed in ClickUp, right? So this is the first platform that's going to be part of our system. The second, what she mentioned, she said JotForm link to leave feedback, meaning that again, they're using JotForm online form builder for capturing the feedback. So we're going to be using that as the second software for our online form. So essentially what we have is we have two platforms that Opera mentioned. The first is going to be ClickUp. Again, they're using this as the record management software. The second is going to be JotForm. So JotForm is our online form software. Now, the third piece is something that we always add, and this is the integration layer between these platforms. We want data to be moved seamlessly in between these platforms. This is why we're going to be using Zapier. So again, so it just connects those platforms and lets us move the data in between these platforms much more easily than if we were doing this manually. So with all these components, let's now dive into the functionalities or as we call them functional requirements of the system to ensure that whatever we're going to be building actually aligns with Opera's and her team's expectations. When it comes to our functionalities, let's break it down into three main components. Now, if you think about this before someone can access the form, right, we have to give them that link. So the first functionality that we're going to be breaking down here is going to be triggering the sending of the review form. Now, how it's going to work? We are using ClickUp as our record management software. This means that all the functionalities that we're integrating in our system are should be triggered within that platform because we do not want users to go and, and open, open different tabs, switch between platforms. We want all of that to be integrated in the single place. And the second purpose really is to make ClickUp their single source of truth platform where the data, where the actual truthful data resides. So in this case, uh, we start by triggering sending of the review form is triggered from within ClickUp, then that data flows into Zapier. And in Zapier, we're generating a personalized review formally. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we're sending the request to the people who are already worked with. And we do not want to ask them questions like, what is your email? What is your name? Or like something like that. Information that we already have in place. This is why we want that link to be personalized.
personalized for them so that when they click the link, they're not asked any questions that they already provided their answers for prior by working with us. So this way, by generating that personalized link, we make their experience much more seamless and enjoyable. And then we also send that review form link via email. And that's going to be a nice looking email that we're going to be sending to the clients. On our way back, what we also want to do is want to communicate back to ClickUp and update client task custom fields in ClickUp to tell to the end user, to the person who actually triggers the sending of the email, which is going to be probably one of Opera's team members, to tell them that the odd automation worked successfully or not. Maybe there were some errors. Maybe the automation worked successfully and sent the link to the client. So we want the automation communicating in both ways, sending the link to the to the customer, but also communicating back to the end user so they know that the system is working correctly. Now, as you think about this, many of us, when we receive some, some sort of a request or a review form link that we need to submit, we most of the time forget. And again, this is something that Opera mentioned in her message. And she said that we need also the ability to follow up with people because many of them, when we first send them the link, do not submit the form. And again, if, if I'm honest, I'm probably one of those people who forget to submit something or reply to the email when it comes to like feedback or testimonials. So following up is going to be one of the main functionalities here as well. So whenever we send the link, we already have that personalized link generated. So now what we need to do is we need just to resend that link. So the second functionality is going to be essentially triggering resending of the review form link. It's going to work the same way from within ClickUp. The trigger is going to be located in ClickUp. And we're going to go into Zapier. And from Zapier, the link is going to be resent via email. And we're also going to update our client task custom fields in ClickUp so that again, automation communicates back to the end user saying that the link was successfully resent to the customer so that we know that automation works successfully or if there are any errors with that specific automation or that specific instance of the automation. All right. And the last piece, the third piece is going to be submitting the review form. We resend the form for those like me <laughs> who do not submit the forms from the first time. We followed up with them. And now this, the last piece is actually customers submitting the review form. So in this case, that's going to be the last third functionality. We submitting the review form inside Jot form so that the data flows from online form software. We also need to send the thank you email to the client. Again, this is communication to the customer saying we appreciate your time submitting the form. We also want to update our client task custom fields in ClickUp. So this is again communication back to the end user of the system, meaning Opera's team members, so they know that automation works successfully or not. And we also want to create the new review form task for Opera team. If you remember in that message, Opera mentioned we don't only want to capture reviews from our clients, but we also want to act on them. We also want to post them on our website or post them on our social media. So we need some sort of a tracker for her team members to act on those testimonials and actually get them posted. Otherwise, it really doesn't make sense to capture them. And that all data flows back into our single source of truth platform, which in this case, Opera is using and her team is using ClickUp. This is where they're going to be managing those testimonial tasks and also see all the updates from automation. Now, with having these three main functionalities broken down, understanding clearly all the system components that we're going to be using, now we can jump straight into demoing the system. So let's jump straight into this. This is going to be the most fun part of the video, and I'm excited to test it together with you. All right, so now let's dive into actually demoing the system that we built and designed for Opera during our last step. I'm going to start with our ClickUp workspace. So this is where Opera is managing her projects. And here in the left hand side, you can see that we have two main lists in ClickUp. The first one is called project. The second one is going to be called reviews. Now the projects is the list where Opera and, their, and her team are storing all the information about their projects. You can see some of the projects are in progress. Some of them are under review. Some of them are pending client review. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using our Soul Space Retreat series project and we're going to try to request testimonial from this client. Now, if we look and we open the project task over here, the one thing that I want to mention is we're going to be using ClickUp as our single source of truth and as the primary sort of platform in this whole system. So this is why all the triggers are going to be part of the ClickUp structure. So if we open the task, we can see that first of all, we have our client email provided here. This is Ilya plus this is going to
going to be my email address so we can test the system and you can also see the trigger to trigger the automation is going to be a checkbox opera in her message she mentioned that she wants trigger to be the change of the status i want to present this option to let her team have more flexibility and control over which testimonials they want to send and which ones they do not want to send so this trigger is going to make it just easier and the system a little bit more flexible and robust for them to decide again to which clients they want to send testimonials to which they don't so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking this checkbox over here and we will wait a couple of seconds for the email to be sent to my email address you can see on the right hand side click of automation just worked and triggered our zapier automation that i will show you in a second if we refresh the page custom fields should be updated here so now you can see the review form automation status was changed to send so i should have the email already in my inbox we also have the detail and this is just the way automation communicates back to the end user and we also have the automation date just to tell us what was the last time we used this automation so if i refresh it one more time we should have that checkbox value cleared as well Perfect, so we can re-trigger and resend the automation. Now, before looking into the email, let me quickly show you how Zapier automation is built behind the scenes to enable us to send that email. Now, the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be triggering the automation, then we are updating the ClickUp task. Now, all those custom fields that you saw changing inside the ClickUp task, this is what this tab of Zap is doing. Now, we're also sending the Gmail email to the customer, which we're gonna see just in a second, and over here, we have two different paths in the scenario the first one works when we want to send the link to the client so this means the task is going to be updated in one way basing or updating the custom fields inside ClickUp again with with one values and path b is going to be responsible when we want to resend the same link to the same customer so again those are working in the same scenario or in the same zap inside zapier but they are basically doing two different actions so let's now get into my gmail account and see how email with the link looks inside my gmail all right so if i open the link over here we can see that the time was 10 52 when i received this email and if we go back to our ClickUp, we can also see that the email that the the automation date was today at 10 52 so and this is the same time when the email was sent to the person so it's easy kind of to see and to track when was the last time we followed up with the customer you can see that it says please take a moment to complete this quick form it has a button and when i click the button it takes me to the jot form review form that i can submit but before we submit this form let's imagine that we forget about submitting the form that we received the email but for some reason we got a lot on our plate and we just forgot to submit the form so let's follow up with the customer and see how that looks in just a second in order for me to follow up with the customer i need to get back into ClickUp, and we're going to be using the same checkbox in here so i'm going to click this checkbox one more time and again we need to allow it a couple of seconds to process the request you can see on the right hand side it just showed me that it triggered the automation so what i need to do i need to refresh the page in ClickUp, and it should show me the status updated to resend perfect so now the link was resent to the customer meaning we followed up with the customer it also updates the details of the automation communicating back to us that the review form link was successfully resent to the recipient and as you can see the time was changed here as well so now let's get back to gmail and submit the form and see how that looks when the form flows back into our ClickUp platform all right so this is the second email we received as the follow-up you can see the time is 10 55 the previous email was sent at 10 52 so this is the follow-up email that we received we can click on leave your feedback link over here and now submit the form let me go quickly through these questions and show you how the form is going to look like when it gets submitted inside our ClickUp account by the way, in this form, we also have the an option for people to leave their video review. Now, now many people don't like that, but some people will actually record themselves and leave their feedback on video. Let me do this quickly and see how that is going to look inside when we receive our submission inside ClickUp. All right in here, I'm going to select the camera only for our loan recording. I'm going to do it like this, and I'm going to record a quick 
video. Hey Opera, I wanted just to leave this quick review and tell you that the experience I had working with you and your team was just wonderful. We've received the results that we expected to receive from this project and this initiative. Our customer satisfaction went up and it is much, much easier right now for us to communicate the values that we want to bring to the world with our customers and with all the stakeholders involved in our project. So I hope to work with you guys soon very, very more. <laughs> and thanks for the project and I'll see you soon. All right, so I just recorded this quick Loom video. I was improvising, so that might not be the best testimonial to put on the website, but we can still insert this video. And now you can see that the video was added to the form and we click on submit. Now, this is the last question that is asked in the form. We have the thank you page from JotForm over here. In just a second, we should be receiving a thank you email inside our Gmail account. So let's go and see how that looks. All right, perfect. So this is the email that we received in our Gmail account. Thank you, thank you for your review. And again, it just tells we appreciate your feedback. Thank you for your time submitting the form. So this is one of the functionalities, if you remember, that we discussed with Opera earlier on. Now, the next thing for us is to see how that looks inside our ClickUp account. So let's go log into ClickUp and see what submission did we receive over there. When I go back to my Soul Space Retreat Series task, you can see that the review form automation status was changed to submit it. That means that the form came through. We also have the updated details saying the review was successfully created. And we also have the time change for 1059. So this is the time when we submitted the form and we actually received the submission. Now, the coolest thing over here is that first of all, we can change the status of the project to complete it. But what we also have is inside the relationship here in ClickUp, we have our review task. So if we click on the review task, you can see that all the answers that we provided in that job form, you can see now consolidated in one single task. We also have our video uploaded over here and we have our Loom video link. So you can also use the MP4 file to upload that video to the website. At the same time, we can access the link using just the Loom link. Um, and again, we have the experience ratings over here. So this task is ready for Opera's team member to take through the statuses of to doing progress and complete and actually post that on their website. So this way we have myself and this is just the task version that we're presenting. This I have myself assigned to the task and I'm responsible to post that comment by today 2 p.m. time to our website. We can have multiple review tasks and if you go into the review list again, this is just a single review that we submitted. When we have more and more client reviews submitted, we're going to have more tasks created in that list and it's going to be much, much easier for Opera and her team to manage the workload and, and see who is responsible to post those reviews and what are the due dates for those tasks to be completed. With seeing this result, let me quickly show you what automation worked on the back end to make this happen in Zapier. So if we go to this automation, it looks pretty simple. But what it does, when the new submissions come through, if you remember, we didn't provide any information, any personal information like our name, our email, the form link itself included a special character or a special parameter that let us know when the automation was working, which task or which project is related to that submission. So Zapier automation works this way. It finds the right task by ID of the tasks that was included in the form submission. It also, we have some JavaScript that cleans up some, some answers from JotForm just to make it more readable to the users because the response is in HTML, so it adds some weird symbols there. It creates the task for the review. So the one that we just reviewed together with you and uploads the video in there, the Loom video, the Loom link, and all the responses in the custom field. And it also updates the project task, updating the status to submit it and all the details that we saw in that task. And what it also does, sends the thank you note and also links the review task together with the project task. Now, with all this being completed, now Opera's team members are ready to finally post that testimonial to their website and make the most use out of it. All right, it was a great teamwork. I really, really appreciate your help and time that we spent together building this cool system for Opera. I can bet she was gonna enjoy the system. And I also know that this use case is not gonna be only helpful for her, but probably for many, many other businesses out there who are trying to capture and manage their client testimonials. So that's a really, really great work. Give me knuckles. And I enjoy working with you and I'll see you in the next videos to build more cool systems for other clients as well. Have a good day ahead.